Taking the baby to the doctors. His wife giving birth now? Uh, no, but they are, it's almost that time. I know. I know how it is. I know how it is. Been there, done that. You need to be there. You gotta be there. Or you gonna be all type of motherfuckers. Oi. <laughs> For real. And not not even on the not even on the last week. Like even on the last two three weeks, it's like just be there because motherfuckers be going crazy. Hey y'all, what's good, everybody? What's good? I'm back in New York, and goddamn, Winter didn't even let me get a motherfucking coat first. Like it's motherfucking bricky. Like shit, I fucking came off the plane yesterday, and motherfucking yo, the snot. 2.5 seconds the snow was already coming out my fucking nose like oh man it's getting motherfucking cold man oh man and i'm a bitch that love walking around with robes and it's just like god fucking damn i can't walk around in robes no more the winter is coming but it's all right though i you know i love me uh some uggs and shit oh one thing about me is for yo you know what's so crazy i used to love wearing sneakers when i was younger for some reason i do not like my feet when they're closed now so i'm always wearing sandals 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 and um and it's just like fuck, now it's getting motherfucking cold so a bitch got a motherfucking um so a bitch got a motherfucking i don't know gotta find winter gear so yeah I'm stacking up on them Uggs, you heard? So, you know, you know, let me tell you something. Oh, I've been having such a lovely ass. These past two weeks have been extremely lovely for me, you know. um, I've been working every single day. My, I even worked on my own fucking birthday. Like, the only fucked up thing that happened these past two weeks was that I caught a crazy ass bad allergic reaction to some fish I ate and my face was bloated up so crazy. I don't know if y'all noticed I had to even wear I had to wear hats to try to disguise my face because my eyes was looking one was bigger than the other and it was real puffy like I just my lip my fucking nose everything got puffy so that was the only negative thing but so far like I've been really, 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 really working, man, hard. And I got so many good things that is coming out that I've just been really happy. You know, uh, I, I've, um, I've been with my husband. So, you know, I've been getting So, that makes me real happy. Um, my daughter, uh, she's three months. And I think this is the time because i obviously seen it that she's, like, cooing more. That's how you say cooing. Like, ah. Like, yo, my baby be talking mad much, and she smiles all the crazy, right? So I just been, you know, real positive, and I've been so busy. I've been staying away from social media, but it's just like, it's just like, yo, no matter how how far away you stay from social media, no matter how much you mind your business, it's just like, I'm just sick and tired of people fabricating stories about me. Like, it's just like, yo, leave me the f alone like it's like how can it's like people sometimes be like stay quiet and lay low but it's like even when you stay quiet and lay low people just annoy you like let me let me tell you about like what happened two three weeks ago right so two three weeks ago when i was in miami when i was doing like the bt awards was it two weeks two two weeks or three weeks you will see about two, two weeks. weeks yeah two weeks because it was like the day before i got my car like um you know i'm like i think i'm in like the 15th floor yeah, I was like in the 15th floor, right? I was in the 15th floor of this building, you know, yeah. And the rooms wasn't in my name. I went in Carnito to this hotel room. So I know that nobody should know that I'm where I'm at, whatever. But, you know, I learned my lesson. I guess people that work in certain uh, places, they will f***ing say about your business. So, you know, I'm in Carnito. Bitch, what? And it's just like, you know. It's so, it's such a, I have such a pretty ass view and I think I'm being low and everything. And it's just like, you know, I just really wanted to take a picture of my baby. 
I really just want to take a picture with my baby sitting with a little tutu. And it's just like, it got me, it f***ed me up so much mentally how people really don't have no integrity. That they really had the audacity to f***ing stalk me. Because this was literally stalk me and practically took a picture of my kid. And that shit really got me so f***ing mad. It had me f***ing mad. It had my baby father mad as f***. Um, because it's just like, people need to understand, like... My daughter's mad beautiful. Like, I really want to show y'all how beautiful she is. But then again, it's just like, there's a lot of people. Like, there's a lot of psychotic fans. And there's a lot of psychotic people that don't f***ing like me. So, I really want to protect my baby identity until I'm, I'm mentally ready. Because I know one day I'm going to have to show her. But it's like, let me do it when I want to do it. Like, y'all mother know everything about me you first of all motherfuckers harassed me the whole time while i was pregnant i whatever um motherfuckers fucking dig up my marriage certificate let me let me protect my baby let me do things at my time at my pace you know what i'm saying because y'all people that run tmz you don't have people sending death threats to your child and i'm not saying this shit like oh for no fucking sympathy no shit like that it's facts it's facts. My number got leaked a couple of weeks ago. Y'all gotta see that I got I, I got proof of crazy, disgusting messages that I literally had to get a private investigators to see who are these people. And it be on my comments too. It's a lot of disgusting things that it's just like me and my baby father. We want to protect our child. So it's just like, why don't y'all respect that? Why don't y'all respect people, kids? Why don't y'all motherfucking do that shit? Y'all not yeah like y'all the same way that you people that can be on tmz and shit y'all be protecting your kids from shit that's what i want to do to my child i'm famous i understand i'm famous y'all can do whatever the fuck i want this and that my child i let me protect it it's my kid i don't know these people my enemy could be right next to me so that's why i want to do it when the time is right let me do it on my own so that's one shit that y'all already already got me tight and then on top of that I'm trying to stay positive. I'm trying to have a happy mentality. You know, I got so much gifts. I've been having so much positivity these past two, three weeks. So stop involving me in drama that I'm not doing anything. Not only is it, it's annoying when fan pages be f***ing photoshopping likes, photoshopping DMs that I constantly got a f***ing address. It's annoying when these f***ing blogs be f***ing making fake shit up because it's annoying nobody want to be constantly in drama nobody i love smoke i love beef but when it's just like too constant and you just really minding your business it's just like yo bro it's annoying it's annoying leave me the f alone and it's just like don't even give a f if it's fake or not yeah just it's, it's for clickbait and it's just like this is why when I react how I react, people want to call me ghetto and people want to call me ratchet. And I don't give a f Oh, but you a celebrity. You need to behave like one. I, I've been a celebrity for the past two, three years. I've been a whole f***ing gangster bitch my whole f***ing life. I'm not going to... It's hard for me to shake off 23 years of my whole attitude because I'm a f***ing celebrity. Okay? Matter of fact, I don't even consider myself like a celebrity because I feel like I don't be acting like these motherfucking people. Like, it's like, I'm in the industry, but I feel like I don't belong in the industry because I just don't mix with these people. Like, I really don't. Like, and, and, and w the way that people have these standards of you, of how you have to behave since you're, uh, when you're a celebrity, that just don't mix well with me. Like, that's just not who I am. Like, I'm sorry. And I hate when you, I hate when people talk so much shit about you. And then when you be on the comments and you address it, it's like you wrong. Or oh, it's like you hit, like you, you, like a hit dog will holler. So it's like, so you don't have the right to defend yourself when somebody's lying. When you go to court, right? Don't you got the right to defend yourself when somebody's lying on you? So why when I go to a comment and I'm defending myself because people are defaming my name? Oh, a hit dog holler. Oh, like, oh, why are you so worried if it's not true? Because why would you not be worried when somebody's making a lie about you? Why would you not? Why would you not be? I've been having people lie about me for the past five, six months, and I've been staying very fucking quiet. It's gonna be on a fucking point that I'm gonna go on a 
three hour interview and I'ma just start putting blast on blast on blast on blast on blast cause I got real receipts and I got a lot of real shit and I'm sick of it let Cardi Brim live on God let me live let me be in my positive bubble I've been very positive lately I've been on my fucking humble pie I've been having a lot of fun I've been getting down i've been spending a lot of time with my daughter because in la and in miami as soon as i finish working i go to my daughter i go to my child i have a little fun time let me be happy why is it why is it that people fest this is why a lot of fucking celebrities are going crazy this is why a lot of celebrities are going through depression are going a lot of celebrities are starting to do drugs they dying now because they're doing drugs. You want to know why? Because social media, not even social media, the media, the blogs, they drive people crazy. And that shit is sickening. Like, it's like, yo, it's sickening. Let people live. And then it's like, oh, that's what y'all signed up for it because y'all celebrities. And it's like, motherfuckers did not fucking signed up for y'all motherfuckers. To be getting, to be stalking people, to be making fucking lies about people. And I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about in general. Like, I feel so bad for a lot of celebrities. Because, you know what? If sometimes I feel like I'm going crazy and I'm a tough bitch. I'm tough, you heard? Cardi B is tough. If I sometimes feel like I'm losing my fucking mind, I could imagine somebody that is, like, so good, warm, spirited, nice person sweetheart ass person i can't imagine what type of shit they go through you know what i'm saying like it's like y'all people is fucking crazy